The video you're about to see shows the dangers of working on a railway track without good rules and procedures. The video contains four computer graphic animations of the collision between an XPT passenger train and a track-mounted excavator that occurred near Newbridge, New South Wales on the 5th of May 2010. These animations were created from data provided from the Hassler data logger, fitted to the train and supplemented with measurements and observations from the accident site. The first animation is a scene created with a virtual camera positioned 180 metres beyond the point of impact and raised on a 9 degree incline. This scene shows the general worksite location and layout, including the location of key vehicles and shows the approach of the train through the accident site and the approximate distance the train travelled after impacting the track mounted excavator. The second animation is presented as a chase view with a virtual camera located above and behind the driver's cabin. The train's instrument panel is representative only and shows only those parameters which are recorded or able to be determined. This view shows the train's passage through the cutting, its speed at the point that the excavator came into view and the point that the throttle is brought to idle and the brakes applied. The ATSB established that a combination of individual actions and systematic issues contributed to the accident. Both the worksite protection officer and the network control officer incorrectly concluded that the train has already passed beyond the worksite. In addition, the workers accessed the danger zone before additional site protection measures, including detonators and flags, had been put in place. The ATSB found that the workers were relatively inexperienced and that their training had not specifically discussed the hazards of working under a track occupancy authority. The operator of the track mounted excavator was killed. This animation is a recreation of the train driver's view with the limitation that it does not show obstructions such as the train roof, pillars or equipment that may have reduced the view. The limitations relating to the instrument presentation that apply to the previous animation are also applicable here. The final animation is a view from the location of the worksite protection officer at the time of the collision, however may not necessarily be what the officer actually witnessed. The view shows the objects visible and the possible obstructions to the officer's line of sight from that location. As a result of the accident at Newbridge on the 5th of May 2010, the Australian Rail Track Corporation took action to reinforce the rules and procedures associated with the issuing of a track occupancy authority. The Australian Rail Track Corporation also implemented the use of a revised track occupancy authority form to record critical information regarding the location and type of worksite. The ATSB safety message to all rail track workers is that information critical to the safe implementation of a track occupancy authority needs to be clearly communicated between the worksite protection officer and the network control officer. It is also essential that workers do not access the track until all levels of worksite protection have been fully implemented. The ATSB thanks you for viewing this video and for supporting our commitment to improving transport safety.